Hey everybody, welcome to day one of AX2. I'm pretty excited, just new pro to tackle, new program. Um, if you're new to my channel, you can see I've done AX1, I have done Core 4, and I did Beast. So, briefly, here's what I know about AX2. Three months. Each week is a different phase. Each week culminates in a challenge. Those are never my favorite, so that's going to be interesting. Um, this week is kind of the review week of AX1. So each day is going to be one of the phases that AX1 went through. Like today is a push-pull workout, upper body. And push-pull performance was the entire first month of AX1. So, let's get started. All right, so that was workout one of AX2. It feels pretty good to get back to those uh, quick workouts. So the one thing that I did, I I've, I've breezed through the program. Unlike AX2, uh, AX1, there's no core built into this program. So it's definitely gonna be up to you to do core four or six pack shuffle. I'm gonna do a uh, six pack shuffle workout right now. And one other thing I've learned from Core 4 that six pack shuffle doesn't include, always finish up with a lumbar stabilization move. So that move isn't built into six pack shuffle. I've just learned from Core 4 to always include that. Morning everyone. Today is day two of AX2. Uh, it is called the Aftershocks to play primer and it's lower body. So this is uh, like month three of AX1. You're doing a superset. Um, so same same body part, two exercises done back to back. And then you rest and complete your sets of that before you move on to the next set. And I believe there's only three sets. I mean, so there's six exercises, three, three sets of combos. So I'm digging going back to the the quicker, shorter workouts and getting them done. So you can see I I had to ditch the weights on the step, step up and throughs because my balance is it's not good. I definitely, it's definitely adjusting back, back to this way of training in comparison to Beast in heavy lifting. So just like with Beast after AX1, it's just taking a readjustment and that's never easy. Those body weight moves that look so damn simple, and they, they're, whoo, takes your breath away. But it's definitely, it, it makes me interested in zero. I don't know if I got, 
I don't know if I count what it takes to take on zero. Hey everybody, today is uh, the MMO workout, so maximum metabolic overdrive. This was month two of AX1, so it's a total body workout. Um, took a, a rest day yesterday. I actually hurt my back doing face pulls, my, my low back, and it's still a little, a little iffy, so I'm gonna take it easy during this workout. But uh, yesterday was supposed to be a burst training workout, so I'm hoping I'll, I can do that tomorrow before the XT 400 challenge the end of this week, so who knows. Uh, I'm struggling to get through this workout and honestly it has nothing to do with my back I uh I've been eating dinner in the evenings way later than I am used to like 7 7 30 I go to bed at 9 so when I eat 7 7 30 dinner I don't sleep well I am hot as hell at night I keep waking up and then in the morning I don't feel the greatest. So I I gotta go back to like my my early bird special. <laughs> like latest I like to eat dinner is like four. And that's only because I sleep way better. I stay real cool when I sleep, so just thinking out loud. <laughs> Okay, I have to share this this non-scale victory. <laughs> Changing my daughter's bed sheets. She has a full-size bed and it's shoved in a corner in her bedroom. So as you can imagine, changing the fitted sheets is quite the task. And since working out and, you know, gaining quite a bit of strength, I can tackle that task way better than I used to in the past because not only do I have to put the fitted sheet on, basically I'm pulling the mattress out and lifting it because her sheets have stretched out after being washed so many times that I use sheet straps, you know, that go on the bottom and, and clamp and, and hold the sheet in place. But I tackle, tackle that household chore like a beast now. So see, sometimes it isn't about scales and measurements, it's just the little things that matter. Hey guys, today's workout is a first training workout. Bumps, jumps, and jacks. So burpees, box jumps, and jumping jacks. And you get a minute and you have a designated number of reps you have to complete for that exercise. Whatever time you have remaining in that minute, you get to use as a rest. Um, one thing I did notice though, in AX1, Tuesday, Thursdays, or two days a week, we're always burst training. That's not the case with uh, AX2. In fact, the burst training seems pretty sporadic, but that's also designated burst training. I, I don't know, you know, who knows what the challenges and what that'll look like. So let's get it over with.
Morning everybody. Today is the first challenge in AX2. It is the XT400 challenge. So this is extremely similar to AX1's 400 challenge. You have four exercises. You need to do 100 reps a piece. You can do them in any order, any amount that you want, just as long as you get to 100 on each exercise. Normally you time yourself and depending on you know your time you rate your level. Um, I'm not really into timing myself. I just like to complete the workout or the challenge just because I feel like when I rush a little bit and I set myself up for some injury, especially since my back is getting better but it's still a little tender and sometimes you have a tendency to, to cheat the, the reps when you're racing a clock so I'm just going to complete the, the 400 <laughs> reps of cross knee plank push-ups those look horrible dumbbell renegade row box jumps and opposite elbow to knee planks so um ironically <laughs> today my kindergartner starts e-learning or remote learning so this may be the easiest part of my day we'll see What is a pooling on the floor. <laughs> that concludes week one of AX2. But as Jeff said, that was just like a review of AX1. Next week, week two is the real start to the Athlean Extreme training, so that, that'd be fun. Um, a couple things. First thing I notice in this challenge, tomorrow's a rest day and I'm gonna need to stretch on my hip flexors because I can see and tell those, those bad boys are tight. Uh, the website. This time around, in AX1, Jeff demonstrates, he does your walkthrough video and it's probably like five to eight minutes. He demonstrates the exercises this time around, he's talking another person through the exercises. I'm not really digging that because it almost seems like they're not. I would rather see him perform it and watch his form. So then I'm watching, it's still the same as the AX1 website when you go down and he actually does demonstrate each workout individually or exercise individually. Uh, then, this I find kind of funny, this tells you, because I've completed Beast, I've seen how far his equipment and facility has come. Besides the walkthrough video, in AX1 you had Coach's Corner where he just, you know, gives you a pep talk for the week. This you have um, a phase explanation because every week's a different phase. He is a basically looks like he might be in his basement on a giant whiteboard or like a whiteboard that he's used dry erase markers and written down. I just find that a little funny just because it's obvious this was more of a first first program put out in comparison to in Beast he's got the smart board and all sorts of fanciness going on so other than that I'm a uh, I'm excited, still excited, still enjoying it. I feel like I've got some of the same problems popping up from AX1, like my shoulders. With all the push-ups and stuff, they, they seem to get real tight and sore. 
Um, so we'll see how that goes, but it's it's a very I might hear one of my children. Sorry, false alarm. It's just a very different pace than Beast, which is nice. It's, you know, you don't want to get stuck in too much of a rut. So looking forward to taking on next week. So see you then.